YouTube, it's Jen. I'm Brad. And we're here for our weekly update. And as always, let's start with the numbers. Started this journey in December of 2012 at 262 pounds. I am five feet four inches tall. Last week I was 183. This week I am 185.2 for a 2.4 pound gain. I'm sorry. It's okay. I know why. We'll talk about it. Okay. Um. Six feet tall, starting weight 320. Last week I was 229.4. This week I'm 228.2 for a 1.2 pound loss. Okay, so 1.2, that is great. So what did you do to get to that 1.2? Um, tracking, exercise, and I tried. Um, even though this weekend we had my nephew in town and we went out to dinner pretty much for all our meals. Um, I tried not to go crazy on desserts. Even though you make fun of my all rice pudding diet, it seems to work for me. Yes, it does, and I stand corrected. And it's not all rice pudding. It's just it's my dessert of choice. I do harass you on the quantity of rice puddings, but then I think back to when I had my Quest Bar addiction, so it's really no different. Well, mine are also 90 calories. Lexi, come on now. We're having a conversation. Okay, so... But you did great. I'm so proud of you. And you. given that we had our nephew here and we went out to delicious places to eat, you still lost 1.2. That is very impressive. Mm -hmm. So, my weight gain, <laughs> um, not impressive. So, I think, though, the reason for that was, um, I told you all last week, I hurt my back pretty bad. And the doctor gave me uh, steroids, gave me prednisone, six days of prednisone, an anti-inflammatory called Movic and a muscle relaxer. And so I did that for seven days. Um, and so yesterday was the last day of medication, but because of that, I couldn't do any weightlifting. I did less cardio because, you know, I was trying to get the back to calm down. My back didn't actually calm down until Saturday was, I think the first day that I was feeling better. So, and of course, Saturday, I'm finally feeling better, and we go go-kart riding where we're smashing into each other. Perhaps not the but best idea, it. but it was so much fun. Um, so I didn't get to exercise, and, you know, and I was on all these drugs, so I'm hoping that I will get my shit together this week. I have already worked out twice today. I've got, I'm back to cardio and weightlifting. Um, I saw my doctor on Friday about my wrist. They cleared me to do all exercises. I'm just supposed to ease into it. Tonight, I did some weightlifting with my trainer. My wrist did ache a lot during that, but I don't know if, I, if it's just because I went from not putting any weight on my wrist to using some weight. So I'm hoping that it'll all be okay. My back is also aching a lot. I need to ice it tonight. Um, but it just feels good to be back because I'm never gonna be a 1200 calorie per day person. So I need to exercise to keep my food calories in check. So I have to come back to you next week with a loss because the 180s are not acceptable for me. I wanna go back to living in the 170s. You know, I remember when being in the 170s made me upset because I couldn't get to the 160s, but now I will take it. So um, that is my plan for this week, so. My plan is to shave and get a haircut, and I'll drop two pounds. That is true. I did tell you I would give you a haircut this weekend, so he will have a good loss. <laughs> Anything else? I think that's about it. So, just short and sweet. I'm trying to think, you sure something else? You're playing rockable? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's it. So, yep, so, from my running perspective, um, I am oh, yeah. in the process of quote unquote training. It's not like it's an official training program per se, but I'm, I plan on doing a half marathon in December. And so what I'm doing is I try to run twice a week. And each time I run, I try to inc increase the distance of my run by a quarter mile over the last time. So um, Tuesday I did five and a quarter. So yesterday I did five and a quarter miles. And when I run again, um, either Thursday or Friday this week, I'll go to five and a half. And so every time I run, I just increase it by a quarter mile. So that means basically if I run twice a week over the course of a month, that'll be two more miles in distance. So that should get me to at least um, between 11 and 13 miles by the end of November. Um, 
So that's my plan. And they still have not marathon. posted that race for registration yet. So okay. I check all the time for you. No problem. But I'm so proud of you. I mean, can yeah. you? would you really have believed, <laughs> how many years out are we? Three and a half years ago mm -hmm. that you would be like going to do a half marathon? No. I'm just so proud of you. Thank you. And I found really the only barrier slash hindrance is it's boring running for like, you know, I'm at an hour now and it's like, oh my God, I'm going to be like two and a half plus hours by the time yeah. I get to the end. Music only is so long. I'm like, can I bring like a satellite TV with me or something and watch TV? <laughs> You're going to need to find more music to entertain you. I know, you it because... is just, oh, it's a long time. You've got a lot of time in your head. So that's about it. But it's going well. I'm very proud of you. Thank you, Cameron. So I guess that is it. We hope you all are big losers. Kick some fat asses. We love your faces. And we will see you next week. Bye, YouTube. Are you putting Lexi in the camera? Bye, YouTube. Meow, meow. <laughs>